All right, so my fans asked for more vlogs. I've been taking you guys along with me on, uh, on this trip. We got here safe and sound. I, if you watched the last one, which I haven't uploaded as I make this, it, uh, I didn't get sick on the plane technically. Like, so I got there and like the plane was like two hours and 15 minutes. And I thought that um, like I, I, I took a nap and stuff and I woke up from my nap feeling awesome. I was like, like, so Jackie had me prep. She's like, this is the bland food I want you eating. I want you drinking like uh, ginger ale, but I had to use Sprite. And I woke up and it was like, this is great. This has worked out super well. I'm psyched and, and I felt good. I felt like fucking younger. Like it was like everything was, was perfect. And then we're headed into land and, uh, and that's when things got messed up. Like we're, we're kind of close. Like I can see the ground and everything. I think we're cool. But um Somewhere along, like he starts slowing down and then he like slams on the gas. We pick up, we launch into the sky. He's tilting like 30 degrees back and forth. Things are getting all wobbly. I don't know if, and it, it got real turbulent and stuff. But I, I'm not sure if he's dodging other aircraft or, or if he's like just, if they're like downwinds. And I think they called off. So then we're like looping around. And, and by the time we hit the ground, <laughs> loop de loops. No, no. Like we're tilting loop around. That, 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 just started doing barrel rolls at 7.47 and I was like, fuck it. No, no, we're, we're... Charlie was coming in we're, left and Okay, left. we were circling around, circling around. And, uh... Uh, and, and when we, we land, like I'm like sweaty, I'm, I'm feeling sick, but my, my upper lip is sweating and I'm like self-conscious that that's ugly. And, uh... But I, I didn't throw up or anything and the flight turned out okay. I got another thing too. So, um... So I carry a knife in my pocket. Like it's a, one of those butterfly knives that you like flip open and do whatever. And um, I don't really think much of it. So, but I, I do carry, I don't know if I should talk about my other knife. Let's say, I don't carry other knives. I totally didn't bring a knife on the plane. Um, but I did have a knife in my pocket as I go to airport security. Now, lesson learned. If you have a knife in your pocket and you find yourself at security, just chuck it in the trash. Chuck it in the trash. The trash can's right there. It's kind of what it's for. What I do instead is I take the knife out of my pocket, I put it with my personal belongings, and I say, hey, everybody, I have a knife. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that apparently is not the right way to handle the situation. And uh, I'm like, I'm not crazy or anything. Just got a knife. I'm turning it in. I'm like, it's not expensive or anything. You can have it. So they're like, just to be clear, you're surrendering your knife. And I'm like, if that's what you call it, <laughs> you know, take her away. And uh, they're like, are you sure you don't want this? Do you want to mail it back to yourself or whatever? I don't particularly love the knife. It was hard to open. And, um, and it was only 20 bucks. And like mailing it back to, I imagine mailing stuff back to yourself at the airport. It's another 30 minutes out of your schedule. It's 30 minutes. And I, I picture it being like a rate by mail situation. Like they, they, they just charge you way too, mm -hmm. like for, for a $20 knife, I think you just give it to them. And, uh, and they're and, and again, you know, they're back to the you're like, so you're surrendering this. They want they're like triple checking that I'm surrendering the knife. And uh I'm like, yeah, I, I think that's right, that sounds right. And um no. so they're like, okay, because if you hadn't surrendered this knife, that would be an LEO situation. And I'm like, is do I is that a good situation? And <laughs> no, no, that's a law enforcement officer situation. And, uh, and then after I get through the security, they're asking me a bunch of other questions, like what I do with the knife. I'm like, yeah, like why would I want to have the knife? And I'm like, you know, I, I buy everything from Amazon. So I open boxes, like maybe more than most people. And uh, sometimes I tighten screws, you know, <laughs> like, like this, these all seem like. Get my teeth? <laughs> yeah, pry bar. I mentioned like sometimes I pry things with it, you know, knife shit. Like it, this so. I cut stuff. <laughs> yeah I, I, yeah so uh so anyway if you have a knife in your pocket or, or whatever and, and then we get those like, i talked to the guy apparently they get four or five thousand guns a year at the airport really they just mm -hmm. throw them away well yeah. i assume the people throw them away but they do something else I, I they just said that that's how many guns they they catch but i, I think it's not catch like they they, reg they just like me they realize right. there's something in their pocket that they weren't supposed to have so, uh, so we made it to the hotel. All is good. Um, I'm sharing a bed with Joe. See, there's just one king bed in here. And uh, I'm way gayer than he is. So I'm prepared for a weekend of rejection.
What do you think, Joe? I'm the big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, so that's my vlog number four. I don't know. I lost count. It'll be in the title.